Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. Today we'll be working on underwater dark bubbles design. We'll create our bubbles in Illustrator and use Photoshop to create out the underwater scene. So let's begin with the tutorial. Select the ellipse tool and draw out a circle. Apply gradient color from the color swatches. Choose fading sky where one of the sliders is transparent. Now open the gradient panel and change the type to radial. Then adjust the slider to get fill color on the borders and transparent in the center. Change the color to white for both the sliders. Click on the empty space to add one more slider with opacity 0. Bring the center slider closer to the right slider to give ring like effect. Adjust it to get a nice thin border with a gradual fading. You can also add a color to give a tone. We'll give a light bluish tone. Next, we'll add a glossy highlights to the bubble. To add that, draw out an oval using the ellipse tool. Fill it up with white color. Place it near the top edge. Now with the dive selection tool, select the low anchor point and drag it up to give a soft banding. Reduce the size from both the sides. Now with the alt press just click and drag to create a duplicate of this shape. Place it at the bottom and rotate it to 180 degree angle. Select both the shapes and go to Effect Blur Gaussian Blur. Set the radius value around 16 pixels and click OK. This will add a nice glossy highlights to the bubbles. Select all the shapes and rotate it to certain angle. Group them up using shortcut Command or Ctrl G. Now we'll duplicate multiple number of bubbles with different size variations. Press the ALT key and click and drag the bubbles to create a duplicate. Scale down the sizes and place them in a proper composition. Create both big and small bubbles to give natural look. After this, we'll reduce the blur value of the smaller bubbles to see the highlights. Double click on the bubble, select both the shapes and click on appearance. Open the Gaussian blur panel and reduce the blur radius value to around 5. This will make the highlights visible. Do this for all the smaller bubbles, reduce the blur value as per the size of the bubbles. Once we complete adjusting all the highlights, do the proper arrangement. Now open a new Photoshop document. Give dark blue background color. Now select all the bubbles from the illustrator document and drag and drop to Photoshop. Scale up the size and place it in the center. Select the bubble layer and go to filter, blur gallery, Irish blur. A circular blur adjustment option will be added. Scale up the circle to cover up the whole canvas. Drag in the circular dots toward the center to give all the focus to the center. Increase the blur value and this will add a blur effect to all the surrounding bubbles. We get a sharp focus at the center with a nice depth of field. Next, add a Gaussian blur with the radius value around 1.7 pixel and click OK. This will soften the sharp edge of the bubble. Next, we'll add a nice background. So add a new layer, select the brush tool and right click the mouse to open the brush panel. Here select the cloud brush and choose light blue color. Apply the color on these areas using the brush. To erase some unwanted colors, use erase tool with the same brush stroke. Keep the opacity around 30-40% and erase the colors along the edges as well as from the centers. We'll get a light fading clouds. Choose the blue color and apply over the lower portion to add bluish light effect. Add a new layer, apply dark blue color and change the mode to overlay. Reduce the opacity around 40% and add a mask. Now. Using the soft brush tool, erase out the area from the center and set the opacity to 33%. Next, add brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Give the brightness value 4 and the contrast value 17. Then, add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Increase the saturation value and adjust the slider to give a blue tone to the composition. Now select all the layers and duplicate it. Merge the layers. Here we'll do the further adjustments. 
Select the dodge tool and apply over the areas where you want to add highlights. Draw over the bubbles to show light directions. Apply it to all the small bubbles to show reflections and glossiness. Once you complete using dodge tool, you can see the difference. The composition has got better lighting and highlights. Now double click on the layer and layer star panel will open. Take color overlay, change the color to blue and reduce the opacity to 14%. This will add a flat blue tone to the whole design. Further, you can play around with the brightness and contrast value for better looks. Lastly, type out the text using the text tool, apply proper font and colors. Finally, we have completed designing underwater dark bubbles design. We have understood how to create basic bubbles in Illustrator and the use of Irish blur to add a realistic depth of field. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.